Now, how do they do this? Well, they combine a couple things. First of all, they have to create what's called the bliss point. What's the bliss point? It's a special combination of ingredients. Flavor scientists have spent a long time to figure out what perfect combinations of sugar, starch, seed oils, salt, and flavoring to hit this maximum pleasure, especially after you consume all the sugar and starch and it affects your blood sugar. Now we're dealing with a body addiction because the artificial flavor chemicals are very, very different than natural flavor chemicals. In other words, these artificial flavors create way more intensity, like 300 times more intensity than natural flavors. So the intensity of these flavors bombard the brain with so much stimulation. If you do this multiple times, you're gonna have memory of these foods. And so you're gonna be driving down the street and you're gonna see a Thai restaurant and you're gonna drive in there because your brain remembers this pleasure. And if you're going through stress or you're tired, that's gonna kind of give you some relief. When in fact, you're actually gonna be causing more stress to your physical body and your brain because when you do this over and over and over, you start developing dopamine resistance because the junk food is virtually empty. You have nutrition, there's like nothing left. There's no phytonutrients, there's no vitamins, there's no minerals. Now they will spray a couple synthetic vitamins to give you the sensation that you're getting something and they'll probably put on there, oh yeah, the orange juice has vitamin C when it's just, you just put a little ascorbic acid on there. But in reality, there's like no nutrition. And there's one more thing about all this food that is missing and that is protein. They don't have any protein. A person will continue to eat carbohydrates and other things until their protein requirement is satisfied. These foods are not actually foods because the definition of food is to give you energy, sustain life. Can the ingredients in these foods actually do that? I don't think they can.